Hello, welcome back to Blancy Shilap Nuding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look of, at volume cube again, and but we're gonna further uh, go in depth with uh, the texture. Okay, so the volume cube, as we already know, generates the volume cube. And if you search for texture, so apparently you have more, not just for noise and noise. You have a bunch of other texture that you can try. Uh, for example, the Musgrave texture. So this is something. Uh, there's a lot of like 3D texture and wave, and you can just plug, for example, the height into the the density. This is the Musgrave. I actually quite like this Musgrave texture. One of the funkiest one in Blender. So now we have volume to mesh and we can increase the resolutions so let's save this very quickly so this is just random texture so all of these textures most of them are actually 3d um, and just like the like a, an actual shader you have this vector so you can perhaps Use the position and use vector math just to move the texture like this. You can also use the 4D, of course. Uh, 4D will give you kind of like a rotation around the textures. So we already know that with the with the Voronoi. What other things we can do? Okay, we can also try the the wave plug this vector into the density the wave as you might already guess it's creating like a band um, there's also like this ring that's more like a kind of like a wood wood pattern you can quickly get a really nice looking mesh without even doing anything Add a bit of distortions and the bands the wave textures goes in all three directions there is also spherical okay this one is really really cool if you look at the wireframe um, I believe we can actually use it with something like gradient texture just plug this in the gradient is also pretty funky if you use the spherical one and if you use this with the position vector math you can scale you can scale the sphere until it hits the bounding box of the volume cube Okay, we can keep it spherical and, and we can try just mix and match it with the other one. <clears throat> For example, okay, the wave. Let's try this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's plug this in. Okay. The spherical mix with, let's multiply it with the wave textures and let's try the bands. Okay. We have something just like looking a little bit more interesting and then we can smooth this it's looking like a pancake uh, let's use the y or the z z axis play with the scale distortions zero we can we can zero out the distortions so it's just flat I'm actually kind of curious okay we have this really cool volume cube and we can definitely play around with the density I wonder if we can just grab the density from other objects I haven't tried it but mess to volume I think eventually we can just grab the density out of a volume so these attributes can be transferred or captured um, and then place into this volume cube because this is becoming like a like the bounding box and we can do whatever in it like we can 
we can combine texture that way okay anyway we already combining 3d textures using gradient wave maybe we can also try with this mass grave you see it's just simply simply works in a weird kind of way I mean, increasing the scale. Multiply or subtract. Okay, this doesn't work. I think multiply is the one that works because it's multiplying black and white color. Yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. Let's go back to the one before. I quite like this gradient and wave together. Mass grave is cool, it's a little bit strong. Try the other texture, like uh, there's of course the checker pattern. This one is also 3D. If you can guess it, it's, it's gonna create a checker pattern. So the color doesn't do much, but it's it's definitely interacting with the density. So if we have it, once again, if we have it with the gradient, multiply. There, okay, we're gonna have spherical. It's uh, if you play with the volume and shader in cycles, you can actually generate something like this. But this is an actual mesh, so keep always keep that in mind. So it's really, really pretty cool. It's something that you can simply export and print out. I wonder if. Uh, how the magic how about the magic texture so image texture I haven't tried but that's probably something that we're gonna take a look in the next video brick and okay for noise checker mm, magic texture okay I haven't tried magic texture but it might be interesting It's giving like a kind of like a pillow kind of design. Okay, if you want to do like I think something funky, I think you can use noise and then for a noise and see the result. not not as obvious at first maybe use map range so without the noise we just have this uh, like a cheese pattern okay for noise also without randomness for noise actually pretty cool pretty funky there like a you can imagine like a bunch of sphere it's kind of or like a bubbles inside a uh, the cube and then you kind of randomize it using noise There. I plug I plugged it into the scale give give us this weird pattern so there's really like a uh, unlimited ways you can mix and match this guy okay the scale we can even use this value plug into the scale oh maybe it doesn't work you can see this is the noise and then it's affecting the for noise
and then from here we can use the sphere or the gradient just mix and match it multiply the sphere is definitely useful okay don't use checker use the wave okay I think you will also have more interesting uh, possibilities if you just use the volume and then from this volume you just apply a shader set material and then you switch to shader and try using principal volume I haven't I haven't tried this it will definitely render using cycles Increase the density one hundred, two hundred, and yeah, this is a volume, right? And you can come back to geometry nodes. So it works as a volume and then inside the volume shader you can also further play around with whatever you whatever you want to do here with more textures more textures like noise yeah the most important thing is, is it renders it's either rendering or you can export it out as a mesh so that's what I I'm interested in so I guess yeah that's a uh, another quick look at the volume cube there's a lot here that I might so so I, I might need to make more videos just talking about this volume um, what I'm really interested in interest, uh, interested in is like uh, if we can mix and match 3d mesh volume you know like just work with it just like SDF so it's like boolean just kind of faster as well uh, and you can I think you can do s some more cool things with it all right so that's pretty much what I want to talk about thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye